ready. Go ahead. Okay, we need to, all the framework has been tried in, we need to put a bite block or two on here so you can take a draw relation record. Okay, so I'm going to start out by using tin foil as a separator. You could use Vaseline or Cosep, but something to keep the wax from sticking to the stone. So I use tin foil and burnish it down. Not aluminum foil, tin foil. Aluminum foil won't burnish, it will just kind of rip and tear. Okay, so that goes down first, then the framework goes down like that. Now we have to flow wax under the grid work, melted wax, so that this gets locked onto the framework. If you just set the wax on top of it, then the bite block falls off when you go to try it in the mouth. So I got to be sure that I've got this under and through the grid work. Once I've got that, then I'm going to take a sheet of wax, soften it up over the flame. Fold it in two and apply it and press it down onto the cast and onto the grid work. So it's sandwiching the grid work between the two pieces, the two layers of wax or between what I put down there and then this. So it's locked onto that framework. Then I can cut away the excess right to the periphery, but we want full extensions. This is a tissue supported area, so in order to take a bite registration with it, it's got to be supported. And you can cut right through the tin foil. Okay, and extend it to the inside edge of the land area. And round off the corners. Okay. Next I'm going to put a short bite block on there to hold the uh, alley wax or the exabyte, whatever you're going to use. And I want this to be about the size of teeth. Not a big, huge, wide block where they don't bite in it accurately. And it needs to be slightly below the occlusal table of the adjacent teeth. So we've got a couple of premolars on here. And I know that that's about where the occlusion goes, so I want to be a little bit below that so I've got room for the alley wax or the exabyte to go on top of this. If you've got this wax block sticking way up to here, you're just immediately going to have to cut it off when you get out to, out to the clinic. And I'm just going to add wax and smooth it all out and make it acceptable for the patient to try in. So no triad goes on this. The triad, when it comes time to process the denture, doesn't boil out. So this needs to be all wax. Once this wax is cooled, we can re remove the framework from the cast and trim any jagged edges of tin foil or wax on here. And if we got another dentulous area here, we do the same thing. And that's it.